All right guys, well, it is here. I officially want to do this review of the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, the reason I'm doing an update review today in 2020 is because I wanted to let you guys know if this phone is worth buying, how is it holding up, is it still a good phone to get for 2020. Now real quick, if you guys haven't, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you guys want to check out some more tech, review, unboxing videos and stuff. So, yeah. Also, if you guys want to check out my unboxing on the OnePlus 7 Pro I did exactly in August, seven months ago. I also did a Final Thought review. I'll put those two videos down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, I did go from the LG G7 ThinQ to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, I heard about the OnePlus 7 Pro seven months ago. That's funny, seven months ago. And I was kind of iffy about it because I'd never heard of it. But I did a lot of research on it, and I was like, okay, I'll check it out. I went to T-Mobile. I did check it out, and I was actually pretty amazed how fast and fast this phone is. Now, if you guys are asking me, hey, is it? it's pretty fast. Now, this phone is a year old almost. It came out... It will be May officially. They are coming out with the OnePlus 8 coming soon. So it hasn't even been a year yet and this phone's already being updated again. Now there is a OnePlus 7T, so that's a newer model of the OnePlus 7 Pro. So I don't know too much about that phone, but I figured I'd do an update review on this phone. So how is this phone holding up in 2020? Fast. Now I have not had no issues with this phone. So far, knock on wood. So no issues with this phone. Now this is a 90 hertz screen. The reason why I like this phone is because there is 60 hertz and there's 90 hertz. This is the actually first phone that came out that had 90 hertz and everybody was blown away and they love it. Now phones are 120 hertz now with the, with the Galaxy S20, so yes. But, with the new 8 Plus Pro, am I going to be getting it? I know you guys are probably going to ask in that. I'm not really entirely sure. I still use the 7 and I still like it. I still have no issues with this phone. I might keep it for another year. Depends if later case makes uh, a case for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now the reason I got the Pro is because I got the 256 gig hard drive. Yes, I haven't even used that. I only use 13% of it. 34 gig. That's all I used on this phone so far. I have not even gone over 50 gig yet. Um, mostly if it's pictures, uh, music, I just use Spotify or YouTube. So 256 gig is more than enough. So the phone is like super bright and it has a really good like pop to it. I'm telling you, this phone looks amazing. Every time people see my phone, they're like, what phone is that? Now, if you want to get this phone now, it is going for $500 on the website for OnePlus 7 Pro or your local service. So this is not a 5G, um, this is not no 5G network, this is actually 4G, but it still runs, works great and I don't have any issues. Another thing I did like about this is the screen. All screen and no, no, um, no hole punch. Now the camera is at the very top, if you guys are wondering, and the OnePlus 8 Pro is coming out, it's going to be different. It's going to have the hole punch again. It's going to have the hole punch again over by the clock. Um, I'm okay with that actually because it's kind of over in the corner and it goes next to the clock. I didn't like the Galaxy hole punch right in the middle, smack in the middle like right here. It was kind of annoying when I saw it. I went it off to the left or the right, so I don't see this hole punch you know, but I notice when you're watching Netflix and movies and TVs, the hole punch is in the middle. I'd rather have it on the bottom. So yeah, so the OnePlus 8 Pro will have the hole punch on um, by the clock. So if you have your phone this way, the hole punch is down there. And I actually like that, honestly. I don't like it in damn smack in the middle. That's why I did not get the Galaxy S10 a year, six, seven months ago. 
So like I said, this screen is straight all screen. It is. So this is a 6.67 inch screen. It's huge. And honestly, to me, um, I thought it was big, but after a while, when you get used to seeing a phone, it starts, it doesn't look so big. But when people see it, they go, dang, that's a big phone. But to me, that is perfect. Um, I did first not, it took me a while to like adjust to it, but yeah. Okay, so it is looking crisp. I'm telling you, like when I watch movies or Netflix or anything on this phone, it looks great. It's got a QHD plus resolution on the screen and it's got an advanced screensaver on here. So you could actually go into the settings and make your picture advance and even sharper. Now the question is, will you use more battery life? Yes, you do. But I have it on 90 Hertz all the time and I have everything on Vance, and I do not go through battery. This battery is amazing on this phone. So it does have the curved edge to edge screen. It is kind of hard when you grab the phone on the sides, you do kind of touch the sides a little bit. So that was kind of a disappointment on me. I don't like that because when I grab the phone, but if you got a case on it, you don't hit those sides. But if you have the case off, you will accidentally touch the sides and kind of hit the screen a little bit. So that is kind of annoying. Um, it's, I'm kind of used to it now. I kind of got used to it, but in the beginning it was a little um, kind of aggravating and stuff. On this phone, any kind of case, because this phone is really, to me, it's really slippery. Like, it could literally, you could drop this phone. It just feels really, it doesn't have no grip to it whatsoever. So, um, just letting you guys know about that. So, <laughs> Um, if you guys want to, you guys can also get the later case from Unbox Theory. This is a great case. It has a nice grip feel. If you like that minimal case, nice and thin, that has just has a little bit of protection so you can still see the phone, I'll put down the link down below where you guys can get this too. Um, they also have the later case for other phones. So yeah, the fingerprint on this is super fast, as you guys could kind of tell if I bam like that it's super fast i don't have any problems or any lagging whatsoever on the fingerprint scan so i'm also constantly in my phone and i just go straight to it love it it will detect your face if you want to but the pop-up camera will come up and come down but i don't use that i just use a fingerprint scan and it works great now i'm going to be honest with you the camera on here is not the best camera um, I'm not going to go too depth into the camera or the everything, but I'm just giving you an idea of kind of basic thing about this. The camera is good for me for what I use it for. I don't really use the camera as much, but when I do take pictures, it comes out okay for me. Videos shooting 4K, 60 FPS. But um, a lot of people were kind of disappointed about the camera. So it's not super best, but to me, I'm okay with it for what I do. So... So the camera is with a 48 MP main camera, ultra wide angle lens with a three time X optical zoom. Combined with smart screen recognition and Nightscape 2.0 technology with OnePlus 7 Pro. So it does have night mode. So if you guys want to use night mode at night, and I'm going to tell you this night mode works great. Sometimes if people see my photos and they're like, dude, it looks like daytime. And I said, I know, and that's at night, like 11 o'clock at night. So the night mode works really good on this phone and stuff. It also has ultra wide angle lens, so you could do ultra wide pictures far away and stuff. So that is pretty cool. Now the warp charge on this phone is amazing. We're gonna get to that. The battery and the amazing, the battery and the warp charge is great. Now this is a 30 warp charge is wire is not wireless. I'm gonna let you guys know that. I was really disappointed about that. But the OnePlus 8 is gonna be wireless. So the OnePlus 7 Pro, uh, you have to use their port, their OnePlus wire and their DAP charger for their car and the wall warp charge 30 and it is super fast. You can charge your phone within 20 minutes. So I usually don't charge my phone until the next day. I can let it go all day, all night. And in the morning before 30 minutes before I go, I charge it. Now it depends on how long you guys are probably wondering how long is it charging from zero to a hundred percent? Well, maybe less than an hour. I'm not really sure, but when my phone's at like 50, 60%, I only charge it within 30 minutes and it's already charged. So it is a 4,000 milliamp battery. So that is pretty good for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now I know they're going higher and stuff. The OnePlus 8 should be 4,500 milliamps. So um, yeah, so the battery on the life is amazing. Like right now my battery is only at 70%. I also use it during the day, watch YouTube, play games and stuff. Um, 
you know, I'm sure you could drain the battery if you really want to, but I have never ran this phone below than 50%. Sometimes I have once in a great while, but usually never happen. All right, so you guys wanna know what the specs are. You wanna know what it is, Josh. You've been talking about the phone. What is it? It's 855 Snapdragon, so it's super fast. It just buttery smooth on this phone. Looks great with the 90 Hertz. Now I do have 256 gig, like I said, in this in this phone and I don't even use, I only use maybe 13% so far within the last several months. Now it does have eight gig of RAM, um, so it's good. But it does have a RAM boost of 12 gig RAM. So it actually uploads, uploads your stuff from your computer, like your phone to your computer, like super fast. I don't have any issues with this. This phone is just, super fast like i keep saying that because i never experienced a phone to run this good now i like i said i had the lg g7 and i had nothing but issues but ever since i went to the oneplus pro oneplus 7 pro amazing amazing i have to say this now i get phones that overheat that get really hot and now i know they fixed the overheating problem but if you guys have a phone that gets really hot this phone does not get hot it gets a little warm like when it was, uh, you know, one time, not even enough, but this phone has a liquid cooling system inside the phone right in the back. So it keeps the phone cool and it never gets hot. I'm telling you, this phone does not get hot. And this phone is just, it does have like this liquid cooling inside to keep the phone cool. So I thought it was awesome because I hate having a phone and it gets really hot and stuff. I had that experience with the Galaxy Edge if you guys know what I'm saying, if we had that issue back in the day. So now the speakers on here sound amazing. A dual stereo speaker, so it sounds great on this phone. Like sometimes I hear things, I'm like, where is that coming from? And it's coming from my phone, it is crazy. So the sound sounds really good on this phone. I'll do a little demonstration. I might get copyrighted for this. It's only halfway. All right, I probably get copyrighted for that. But other than that, I'm not gonna get too death into this phone. I just wanted to give you a little bit of the specs and kind of get an idea what this phone's about, what it can do and stuff. And like I said, this phone does everything. I could multitask and everything. And it's just buttery, buttery smooth, as you guys could tell. Like insane with the 90 hertz the screen looks amazing on this phone and like i said i had people even seen seen it in public and said dude what do you kind of phone do you have that phone looks amazing so it this is the nubula blue so if you guys want to check that out they have nubula blue and black so it just looks beautiful now if i do get a new phone the one plus eight i don't know if i'm going to i still I still might rock this phone in 2020 until 2021 when the OnePlus 9 comes out. But I just have to wait and see and see what I think about the phone. So if you guys want to know more about this phone, I'll put down like the website of the OnePlus Pro website down. I'll put down the OnePlus website for the Android. You guys could check this out. So yeah, it is by Android. So um, yeah, I just really like this phone. And for 2020, it's still works great if you guys are wondering what that little dot is right there that is the actual flashlight so uh yeah i wasn't too fond about that but i liked how it's sleek and the camera looks great just like that and stuff i don't like cameras i don't mind the camera on the left or the right but i just like the way this phone actually looks so so I don't know what else to say about this phone, but if you guys want to get it, um, I do recommend it. No scratching. Um, I do have no protective screen on this, but like I said, I take really good care of my phones and my electronic stuff. So it's still holding up for 2020. And actually even my son has a OnePlus 7 Pro and his phone is only like four or five months old because he just got it recently and he loves it. Yeah, so like I said, if you guys want to see the unboxing and the uh, review on this, I did more depth into it. I'll put the video down below, and I'll put the later case if you guys want to get this later case. Um, it is 40 bucks. I don't know if they're doing any shippings right now or anything with this whole thing going on. So, um, yeah. So, um, like I said, I don't like big bulky cases. I like thin, minimalistic 
cases. Man, that was hard to say. So, all right, guys, but that's about it. Um, also, it does, I think that's just any phone. It does collect a lot of fingerprints on the screen if your hands are dirty and stuff. So I just wipe it off and then I just wipe it off and I'm just good to go, you know? So there's nothing else to say about this phone, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, <laughs> Thanks guys for watching Josh Tech Gamer. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I wanted to do an update review on the OnePlus 7 Pro for 2020. How was it holding up? Is it worth buying? Now I know my friend Paul Tech is plan on getting a OnePlus 7 Pro. I'm gonna put his video, uh, I'm gonna put his channel down below where you guys could check him out. I know I always shout him out, but I just wanna do that because he does phone, phone reviews, all that stuff. He's better than me. I, I just read what was on the phone. I'm not really good at that stuff when it comes to cell phones because I really actually don't do cell phone reviews. This is probably the first phone I actually ever did. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, check out his channel. It'll be down below in the description. Um, he's planning on getting the OnePlus 7 Pro. He'll probably do a video on that too, give you more depth and everything because, you know. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching, Josh Tech Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys want to check out all the stuff, it'll be all down in the description below. So, all right, guys. Thanks, and I'll check you guys later.